Hello everyone, it's Miss Tara from the Northwest Library and I'm here to share with you some of my favorite kids books. I'm going to start with this one right here. It's called Look What I Found at the Beach. It's a fun search and find book with great colorful illustrations. So, we're chasing waves and having fun. Water sparkles in the sun. Look what I found, a curly seashell. And then it asks you, can you find some other things in the page too? So, lots of fun things to look for on each page. And if you like this kind of a book, there's another one called Look What I Found in the Woods that you can get from the library as well. My next book is called Frog vs. Toad by Ben Mantle. And a riveting tale of friendship and appreciation, both our similarities and our differences. So this is a book is about a frog and a toad and who can do things better because of course one day they wake up and they go after the same exact fly and one calls the other a frog but the ones it's not a frog how two frogs how rude and look what happens i love this while the two frog and the toad are arguing the fly gets away so eventually they figure out while they're different, they both can be friends. So a good book about friendship, a cute book about frog and toad, lots of really funny moments in this, which I really liked. All right, this one is called Where Speedy by uh, Nisi Gregory, okay? Have you seen Speedy? Look closely. He's a very important slug, and George and Lada need to find him again. So they're going on a bug hunt. Okay. And they find Speedy. Right here, see him? And he's no ordinary slug, and they put him in a jar, and they bring him home, and they want to share pretzels with them. But Dad says that's, that's not good for them. So when they're done with their pretzels, they can't find Speedy in the jar. And they have to go and look all over the place, and they ask their family to help. And um, there's Grandpa in the garden, uh, Mom fixing the car. They're trying everywhere to find it. I think these illustrations are fun, too. Um, and in every page, you might actually find Speedy before uh, Lada and George find them. Okay, so I really, I like this book. It says, Where's Speedy? This is another cute book called Hot at Swimming Class by Esther Vanderberg. I love the bright colors. There's really pretty uh, illustrations, and it says, Splash! Mommy wants all her little frogs to take swimming lessons. Floating, back, floating, backstroke, treading water. Hop tries his best, but often makes a mess of things. One day, he surprises himself. All right, so there, this is Hop, and these are his siblings in the water. All right, a little bit more text in this book. So parents, you might have to help read it, but I just love the illustrations. All right, so uh, they all get their floaties on to go swimming. And they practice their backstroke and their floating. And Hop Hop seems to have a lot of problems. Um, and I'll show you my favorite page. Let's see if I can find it real quick. He decides to be brave, so he climbs up higher and higher and higher. And he hops on a blue heron, which is my favorite bird. And he realized he's got to jump or else become lunch. So you'll have to read this and see what happens. But again, hop at swimming class. Another great book with excellent illustrations. This is Sweet Pea Summer by Hazel Mitchell. And we don't know why we know Hazel's mom is sick and she has to go to the hospital. And so um, Hazel has to go and stay with her grandparents. Um, so they're traveling, and again, lots to look out in the pictures. Okay, so after we ate dinner, Dad left, 
and grandpa tucked me or grandma tucked me into bed okay and grandpa needs help in the garden and look at this epic garden I just love it um, and these are grandpa's prized sweet peas and something happens to the sweet peas and um, they're not growing as well and he wants to enter them into a contest and Hazel figures out what's happening to him and gets to take him to the contest. So I would highly recommend this. This is a lot of fun. Great illustrations. Um, do this one. This book is called Doggy. Another doggy. A little boy wants a dog and is surprised when a cat comes to live at his house. Can this cat play fetch? No. Can this cat do tricks? No. Can this cat replace a dog? Maybe. Maybe this cat is just what this little boy needs. So, cute book about a kitty that shows up, even though this little boy really, really, really wants a doggy. Let me find this little kitty. And he doesn't do tricks. And he hides from the little boy, and he's very frustrated. And he calls him Doggy, and he tries to give him five and to feed him and all this stuff. But Doggy is in a new place and scared too. Um, Doggy starts to bring him presents because he likes them. And eventually, they become a little bit closer. But a really cute book. I really like this one. All right, so I'm sorry, parents, I have to do this. Uh, I have a thing in my Goodreads called Gross Disgusting Books That Kids Will Love. And this is one of them called Who Done It? A Forest Floor Mystery. Sniff, sniff went moose, whiff, whiff went mouse. Who left this poo outside of my house? I must undo this mystery. Who done it? Good rhyming. Um, so my mouse finds some poo and he has to figure out who done it. It wasn't skunk. It wasn't squirrel. It wasn't porcupine. Okay. So yes, this is a picture book about poo, but it's also a good little mystery. And you know, your kids, um, really love gross, disgusting things. So a fun book for them. And then my last book is called Look and Listen. Um, who's in the Garden, Meadow or Brook? All right, this is by Diane White. It says, let's go outside among the trees, look and listen and feel the breeze. All right, so in the garden, flowers grow, hues of color row upon row. So good rhyming, excellent rhyming skills. Who's that bu buzzing? Listen, see, a fuzzy, yellow, busy, and then your kid can guess, and they can guess based on the picture, um, based on the rhyming, uh, but of course it's the bee. So we have different animals that go throughout the book. Not a ton of text, so if you have um, a child who's beginning to read, um, there's not a lot of text. So probably maybe one or two sentences and great for those rhyming skills. So I really like this one, look and listen. And if you want any of these books, you can contact the library and ask us to reserve them for you. Many of them are on our shelves um, or can be reserved. So I hope you're having a great summer. You're getting your summer reading done and I'll see you next month with more of my favorite picture books. Take care, bye.